Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a deposit and withdraw command since it was requested by one of our subscribers in this Discord server. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So as you saw last time, we did a set, add, remove, and check balance command. So last time, as usual, I forgot to put the permissions, and you told me about that. So like for add, so that's easy. Just if uh, interaction dot member dot permissions dot has. Okay, and you put like here, and then. Uh, Discord, I, I didn't define Discord up here. Discord equal required Discord.js if you wonder. Okay, so Discord dot permissions dot flags dot the permission name basically, like administrator as example. Okay, I put exclamation mark here, return message dot channel dot send. Oh, oops, interaction dot reply, I mean. You don't have permissions to execute this command. Alright, that's it. See? And if I want to put it for the remove, same as well here and here. Now it's fixed. Now let's go to the main reason of this video. To balance uh, withdraw and balance deposit and some people ask me why am I using sub commands and not multiple commands basically because we are limited in commands per server so using multiple sub commands will increase the amount of commands that you have and at the same time without actually using multiple ones like you have 200 commands per server so if you have a lot of commands you will just make multiple sub commands related to the main command and that's it anyways now let me add two of those here and here nice now gonna be deposit oh without an e i guess and uh, deposit amount of money into your bank and we want an option that is basically amount and that's it we don't really need uh, a target okay so here we're gonna add a uh, withdrawal and same but with, with draw or yeah I guess like that amount and amount of money was it uh, okay into your bank and as usual we don't need a target we just need an amount of money let's check it out real quick slash balance we got here withdraw and we got deposit nice now moving on to the schema the member schema you're gonna need to add a bank okay and the type is going to be a number default is zero nice nice so now once we made the bank here let's go to the balance command and let's add two more else if 
one will be deposit one will be withdrawal they both don't need permissions so let me remove this part now if I want to deposit I have to deposit the amount of money I have in my bank I can deposit more now if I want to deposit I have to deposit the amount of money I have or less than it I cannot deposit more so if amount is bigger than my data.coins return you don't have that much of money in hand okay else now if it will work that out coins I'll make it minus the amount and then that out of bank I'll make it plus the amount so we are removing it from the coins adding it to the bank and as usual saving the data now I'll change this to successfully deposit okay uh, amount into your bank nice also we can check here you know while checking the user uh, coins your balance is that and we can do you have or uh, in bank you can do it like this bank that other bank basically nice now uh, I have to just copy this paste it here but this time we want to check if the amount is more than the bank okay then you don't have that much of money in your bank nice and now I want to add it into the coins and subtract it from the bank then save it let's say successfully with drone withdrew I guess I'm not I'm not quite sure I guess it's like that amount into your or from your bank as easy as that now let's give it a try balance check okay I have zero in bank let me now uh, try to balance withdraw 10 I don't have 10 in my bank so it should return you don't have that much of money in your bank now let me try to deposit money in my bank so I'm going to deposit more than I have I have 69 coins so let me try 17 that's more so it should say you don't have that much of money in hand so let me try balance deposit and let's say 50 nice successfully deposited 50 to your bank okay now if I did balance check as you can see the money in my hand got subtracted and the money in the bank got added now let me try to withdraw balance to withdraw 50 as you can see you successfully withdrew 50 from your bank now if I try to balance check as you can see it's back to normal again so that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be that's it and ciao